Cross-dressing is the act of wearing clothing, accessories, or makeup that are typically associated with a different gender than one's own. Self-love is the feeling of acceptance, appreciation, and respect for oneself. Both cross-dressing and self-love are important aspects of one's identity, expression, and well-being. However, cross-dressing and self-love can be challenging for older adults, especially in a society that often stigmatizes, stereotypes, or ignores them. Many older cross-dressers face discrimination, isolation, or rejection from their families, friends, or communities. They may also struggle with their own feelings of shame, guilt, or insecurity. Additionally, they may have to deal with physical changes, health problems, or limited resources that affect their ability to cross-dress or love themselves. In this video, we will explore the benefits of cross-dressing and self-love for older adults, as well as the challenges they may encounter. We will also provide some tips on how to embrace your age and feel confident and sexy as a cross-dresser. Cross-dressing and self-love can have many positive effects on your life as an older adult. Here are some of them. Boost self-esteem and confidence. Cross-dressing can help you express your true self, feel more comfortable in your own skin, and celebrate your uniqueness. Self-love can help you appreciate your strengths, achievements, and qualities, as well as accept your flaws, mistakes, and challenges. Together, they can make you feel more confident about yourself and your abilities. Enhance intimacy and relationships. Cross-dressing can improve your intimacy and relationships with yourself and others. You can enjoy dressing up for yourself or for someone else who appreciates you. You can also share your cross-dressing experiences, preferences, or fantasies with someone who supports you. Self-love can help you develop a healthy relationship with yourself that is based on trust, respect, and care. It can also help you attract people who value you for who you are. Together, they can help you enhance your intimacy and relationships with yourself and others. Reduce stress and improve mental health. Cross-dressing can be a form of relaxation, fun, or therapy for you. You can use it as a way to escape from the pressures or problems of everyday life. You can also use it as a way to cope with trauma, depression, anxiety, or other mental health issues. Self-love can help you reduce stress by focusing on the positive aspects of your life rather than the negative ones. It can also help you improve your mental health by seeking help when needed, practicing gratitude, mindfulness, or meditation, or engaging in activities that make you happy. Together, they can help you reduce stress and improve your mental health. Cross-dressing and self-love can also pose some challenges for older adults. Here are some of them. Facing social stigma and discrimination. Cross-dressing can expose you to the risk of being judged, ridiculed, harassed, or even attacked by people who do not understand or accept you. You may face discrimination in your workplace, healthcare, housing, or legal system. You may also encounter prejudice or ignorance from the media, the public, or even some members of the LGBTQ community. Self-love can be difficult to achieve in a society that often devalues, marginalizes, or erases older adults, especially those who are cross-dressers or LGBTQ+. You may have to deal with ageism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, or other forms of oppression that affect your self-worth, dignity, or rights. Dealing with internalized shame and guilt. Cross-dressing can trigger feelings of shame and guilt in you, especially if you grew up in a time or place where cross-dressing was considered abnormal, sinful, or criminal. You may have internalized negative messages about yourself or your cross-dressing from your family, religion, culture, or society. You may also have experienced trauma, abuse, or rejection because of your cross-dressing. Self-love can be hard to cultivate when you have low self-esteem, self-hatred, or self-blame. You may have difficulty accepting yourself or your cross-dressing as valid, normal, or beautiful. Coping with physical changes and health issues. Cross-dressing can be affected by the physical changes and health issues that come with aging. You may have to deal with wrinkles, sagging skin, hair loss, weight gain, or other signs of aging that affect your appearance or self-image. 
you may also have to deal with chronic conditions, disabilities, injuries, or illnesses that affect your mobility, energy, or comfort. Self-love can be challenging when you have to face the reality of aging and mortality. You may have to adjust your expectations, goals, or plans for yourself or your cross-dressing. Finding supportive resources and communities. Cross-dressing can be lonely and isolating if you do not have access to supportive resources and communities. You may have trouble finding information, advice, or guidance on cross-dressing issues that are relevant to older adults. You may also have trouble finding places, events, or groups where you can meet other cross-dressers who share your age, interests, or experiences. Cross-dressing and self-love can be rewarding and fulfilling for older adults if you follow some tips. Here are some of them. Accept yourself and your desires. The first step to cross-dressing and self-love is to accept yourself and your desires as part of who you are. You do not have to justify, explain, or apologize for your cross-dressing or your self-love to anyone. You do not have to conform to anyone's expectations, standards, or labels for your cross-dressing or your self-love. You do not have to feel ashamed, guilty, or wrong for your cross-dressing or your self-love. You are not alone, abnormal, or sinful for your cross-dressing or your self-love. You are a unique, valuable, and worthy person who deserves respect, love, and happiness. Dress for your comfort and style. The second step to cross-dressing and self-love is to dress for your comfort and style. You do not have to follow any rules, trends, or stereotypes for your cross-dressing or your self-love. You do not have to wear clothes, accessories, or makeup that are uncomfortable, inappropriate, or unflattering for you. You do not have to hide, change, or enhance any parts of your body that you do not like or want to show. You can wear whatever makes you feel good, confident, and sexy in your own way. Experiment with different looks and accessories. The third step to cross-dressing and self-love is to experiment with different looks and accessories. You do not have to stick to one style, color, or pattern for your cross-dressing or your self-love. You do not have to limit yourself to clothes, accessories, or makeup that are traditionally associated with a certain gender or age group. You do not have to be afraid of trying new things, exploring new possibilities, or expressing different sides of yourself. You can mix and match different items that suit your mood, taste, or occasion. Seek professional help if needed. The fourth step to cross-dressing and self-love is to seek professional help if needed. You do not have to suffer in silence, isolation, or denial if you have any problems or concerns related to your cross-dressing or your self-love. You do not have to cope with everything on your own, without any support or guidance. You do not have to be ashamed, embarrassed, or afraid of asking for help. You can seek professional help from a therapist, counselor, coach, or mentor who specializes in cross-dressing or self-love issues. They can help you deal with your emotions, thoughts, behaviors, or relationships related to your cross-dressing or your self-love. They can also help you set goals, make plans, or take actions that are beneficial for your cross-dressing or your self-love. Connect with other cross-dressers and allies. The fifth step to cross-dressing and self-love is to connect with other cross-dressers and allies. You do not have to be alone, isolated, or misunderstood in your cross-dressing or your self-love journey. You do not have to hide, lie, or pretend about your cross-dressing or your self-love to anyone. You do not have to miss out on the opportunities, experiences, or joys of cross-dressing or self-love with others. You can connect with other cross-dressers and allies who share your age, interests, or experiences. You can join online forums, groups, or communities where you can chat, share, or learn from other cross-dressers and allies. You can also attend offline events, meetups, or clubs where you can socialize, network, or have fun with other cross-dressers and allies. By following these tips, older adults can enjoy the rewards of cross-dressing and self-love without any regrets or limitations. They can celebrate their uniqueness, value, and beauty as cross-dressers who love themselves. We hope you found the information helpful. 
We know that being transgender can be a difficult journey and we want to do our part to make it a little bit easier. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. It would mean the world to us. You can also support our work by joining our membership. This will help us continue to create content that is helpful and supportive for the community. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you next time.